Hey, you guys! And welcome to another exciting episode of Please Nod Belong. Today, we're reviewing a new classic, Trader Joe's Eggnog. Trader Joe's, it's a really cool little grocery store. And you know what? It's got some pretty decent eggnog. So, let's try. So Trader Joe's eggnog, this is something I've been rolling around in my mouth for a little while. I've heard a lot about the Trader Joe's eggnog. At first, it didn't impress me at all. I thought it was too plain, not a whole lot of flavor, not a whole lot of sweet. But the more I drink it, the more I realize it's a sleeper. This is a late bloomer, it's a shower, not a grower. This thing, it's an unsuspecting hero of eggnog. You see, the only thing brands like Promised Land ever do wrong is they burst out onto the scene with tons of flavor and tons of sweetness to the point where some people might say, not me of course, I would never say this, those people are lunatics, but some people might say, oh that's too sweet, that's too much flavor. Don't listen to them, they're all liars. But what I will say is Trader Joe's walks this very thin line of just doing a solid eggnog without a lot of fanfare really. It's obvious they care what they're making and this is a good nog. It's your classic sippin' nog. This is what you're gonna sit down with on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or Crimbus Day and you're just gonna go, oh, yeah, oh, oh, the kids are playing, oh, oh, the football game, oh, 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 is the Westminster dog show on? Oh, no, that's Thanksgiving. Oh, oh, oh wonderful life song. This is perfect everyday nog. You could drink this every day of December and not get tired of it. I'm starting to like this guy. Today's nog pairs nicely with the reissue of the Nick Cave album, Boatman's Call. Follow Nick Cave along with his intensely dark emotional journey as him and his wife struggle to maintain their marriage after the death of a child. It's fun for the whole family. I give this nog four out of five stars. 